Hi and welcome. I have prepared this class today specifically to practice before going to bed. It's a great sequence to do before falling asleep. It's a very easy sequence, one of my favorite practices. But having said that, you can also practice this any time of the day. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, it will really help me produce more videos. So let's get started. What we need for the class is a brick, a yoga brick, or a book, hardcover book ideally, and a belt or something similar like a towel or, or a t-shirt. The first posture is going to be sitting on the heels. So you bring the soles of the feet, uh, the tops of the feet to the floor with the big toes touching. Your heels apart and then you sit between your heels. And then from here, you separate your knees. And then keeping your hips as slow as you can, you're going to walk the hands forward. And then rest the top, the forehead on the floor. We're going to rest here for about a minute. Simply relax your breath. Allow to move freely. Relax your arms. Relax your face. Relax your hips. And take your awareness to the flow of your breath. Then bring your hands a little closer towards you and with an in-breath, push yourself slowly out of the pose. And then come to a seat. Any seat that is comfortable is a good seat. Just make sure your spine is straight. And then from here, we're going to do a few movements of the head. First, make sure both sides of your waist are nice and long and your shoulders are level to the floor. And you're going to drop the head towards one shoulder. Take a few breaths here. And as you inhale, bring the head up. And as you exhale, take the head to the other shoulder. As you inhale, bring your head up. As you exhale, gently let the head fall with control towards the front. And then relax the head here. Feel the stretch in the back of your neck. And then gently Still with the head forward, reach your head, the head towards your right shoulder. And then towards the left shoulder. And then bring the head back to center. And with an in-breath, bring the head up. 
And as you exhale, slowly relax your head back. Carefully take the head towards your right shoulder. And then towards your left shoulder. to center, then with an in-breath, bring the head up. Great. Then line the back, we're going to do a twist. Take both your knees to your chest and extend your left arm to the side with the palm facing up. And then here, take your right hand to your left leg, to the outside of the leg, and with an exhalation, take the legs towards the right. Here, reach the left fingers to the left. And if you like, take your gaze to the left as well. If it, if it hurts your neck, then just relax your neck by looking up. Try to keep both your legs together. Your hand, right hand can help you press the leg down. And breathe consciously. And then as you inhale, come back. Switch your arms, left hand to the outside of the right thigh, and right arm to the right. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, twist the legs to the left. If it's okay for your head, then look to the right. If not, keep your head in a neutral position. Try to keep, try to, try to close the gap between your thighs using the strength of your left arm if needed. And breathe consciously. Come out of the twist by rolling into your side and then with the top arm push yourself up as you slightly extend the top leg. Then from here into the next post, coming to hands and knees. Have your hips over your knees and keeping your hips there, start to walk your hands. And then you will find a good, big stretch. Hands to the sides of the mat. Turn the biceps towards the sky. Keeping the weight on your palms. Slowly lower your chest towards the floor. For some people, they may be able to rest the chest on the floor. Some of us may not. And that's okay. You can then rest your forehead. Conscious breaths. And slowly push to the hands to come up to lift your chest and then walk your hands back. 
From here we lie on the back again. And this is where we use the brick. If you don't have a brick, you can use a book. What you want to do basically is have your feet hip width apart with the toes pointing forward and the heels pointing back. Make sure your knees are right over your ankles. Rest your head down and pushing onto your shoulders, you're going to lift your hips and put your brick right under your sacrum. Not on your lower back, on your sacrum. If it's okay for you and you can lift more, lift up, lift your heels if you need, and then put your brick a little higher, or one step higher. But make sure the heels go back to the ground. If this is too high, go back to the step below. If you don't have a brick, you can use two, three books. Remember, have the brick right on your sacrum, that bone between your two cheeks. Turn the palms to the sky and rest your arms. Slight energy in the legs so that in the knees come a little closer towards each other. Relax your face. Conscious of your breathing. Some of you might find the next step a little difficult, and that's okay, you don't have to do it. But you can certainly give it a go. Take one knee into your chest. Now here, you need a little bit more balance. So turn the palms to the floor to help you use the hands to keep balance, especially if you're high on this position on your brick. And then take your other knee in. And you don't really need to do anything else here, but if you like, if you can, you can extend the legs of the sky. We won't hold the pose too long here. Come out of this pose, bend your knees, and one at a time, lower one foot down first, and then the other. And then make space, lift your hips to remove your brick, and slowly lower part by part. And then take a moment here. Come out of the pose, roll to the side, and come up. Then extend the legs in front, and give the legs a tap, tap the legs to the floor. Then from here, press the heels on the floor. You can do this in, a different, in different ways. One way, you press your heels down and you bend your knees and then you can reach more or you can keep the legs straight and if you can't grab your feet then you can use the belt what you want to do really more than concentrating on reaching is try to concentrate on keeping your spine straight so your chest is lifted and your shoulders, rather than reaching with your shoulders, your shoulders are being pulled back. And as you pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades move down the back. Soften your breath.
Man siger en her, så slår lige kommer. Next. You're gonna take the, with the legs in front, you're gonna split the legs out to the side. Now with your hands, lift your hips and send your tailbone towards the back so that you're sitting on the front portion of your sitting bones rather than falling on the back portion of your sitting bones. From here, the same principle applies if you can't reach, bend the knees, press the heels further to the ground. You don't have to reach for your feet. You can, if you, if you struggle, you can keep your hands on the, at the back and push to help you lift your chest. And as you push, then you can gently fall a little further. If you're more flexible and you can grab your feet, go ahead, grab your feet or your shins, or you can extend the arms in front. But always try to maintain lifted chest and spine straight so that you're folding from the hips and avoid collapsing and closing at the front to give you a sensation that you're reaching more. Instead, keep your chest lifted, your spine straight and fold. Conscious breaths. With an inhalation, slowly come up. And then carefully bring the legs towards each other. And then prepare for, for bed. Lie on your back. Start with a line on the back. And just meditate here for a moment. Meditate means just concentrate on your breath as it flows freely. When you feel that you're dozing off, relaxing, then you can turn into your side, your favorite side, and use your pillow so that you're comfortable. And rest here.